Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today I have another spring tiered tray for you. And yes, you guessed it. The theme is butterflies. I give it my own blue take and let's get started. All of our supplies today are going to be from the Dollar Tree. And the first thing we're going to use is this little metal butterfly um, wind chime from the Dollar Tree and it's really cute. It's got like the galvanized metal and then it's got a little metal butterfly on top of it. I am just taking off the hanger and the little bell just because I don't really need them. And I really love the blue and the green. The blue is a little too bright for what I'm kind of going for today. I want to do like my beachy Caribbean blue color. So I'm just going to update that. And I get this at Target and I can't believe they discontinued this line of paint because this is my favorite color, but don't worry, your girl's stacked up. <laughs> so I'm just using a makeup sponge and I'm just going to go over that teal part and kind of make it the lighter blue color. I'm going to leave the green. I think that's pretty that the butterfly has two colors. Um, I want to do a lot of like this color of blue today and greens. Um, I want to keep it kind of in a color pattern. I'm going to be doing my three-tiered metal tray for my kitchen table for spring. So I have lots of empty tier trays because Easter is over and I did so many Easter tier trays. And so we got two spring tier trays here back to back. Okay, up next, I found this little wood butterfly. It's actually kind of large at the Dollar Tree, and I think this is a new find. Um, they had these and uh, little dragonflies in the craft section at my Dollar Tree, and I thought it would just mix up a stain with that Caribbean blue acrylic paint just by mixing half the paint with water to give me a nice thin stain that's going to make it look very weathered, and you can kind of see the wood through it. I really want this one to look kind of antique -y. Really pretty, but all kind of this one color of blue. And I'm gonna use both of these butterflies for the top tier of my tear tray. And I'm just gonna kind of lay them on the top so they don't, neither one of them really need a stand or anything like that. So once I get this covered, I just go over it with a paper towel to wipe off the excess stain. Gives us this beautiful beachy blue vibe. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side just to clean it up and it is a tiered tray. So you're gonna be able to see this one from all sides because this tiered tray is going on my kitchen table. So I just stay in the back and I wipe off the excess just like I did the front. And I really kinda like, um, that side had a little bit of brown wood showing through so I thought I would kinda go with that by using a little bit of Antique Wax by Waverly and some baby wipes and doing a very slight distress. So I'm gonna use one of those chunky brushes from the Dollar Tree and kind of work in one direction and just kind of lightly distress over that with that antique wax and then follow that up with a wet baby wipe to take off any of the excess. And it's gonna give me this very like antique look, which is exactly what I was going for for this. It's kind of already got the design, you know, kind of cut out. So we're gonna kind of go with that. And this is how it turned out. Isn't it pretty? I really love the blue and the brown together like that. Okay, next DIY. We are going to make a, a napkin holder for my tear tray because this is gonna be on my kitchen table. And so we're gonna start with one of these little stand up wood butterflies from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna use that same stain with the acrylic paint and kind of just go all over. Um, I want this to be a finished piece, so I'm gonna need all of it to be blue. And I thought about making the base a different color, but I kind of get some blue paint on there, so I decided just to make it all blue and just wiped off all of the excess with a paper towel like I did before. This is a very forgiving way to paint stuff like this. 
And you really don't even need to distress it because it kind of already looks distressed anyway because that paint kind of soaks into the wood grain of whatever you're working with when you're working with like the real wood like this. And I got, I think everything, all the wood butterflies today, just from the regular craft section at Dollar Tree that they have all of the time. But I thought butterflies would be perfect for spring. Last year I did bees, and so I thought butterflies would be really fun. Now to decorate this, I'm going to use some of these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree in like the greenery pattern. So first thing you gotta do is cut them all out. I think I'm going to save these like little tropical palm ones for another project. And then I'm really gonna focus on using um, all of the little boxwoods. I thought that'd be a fun little pattern. Kind of give it kind of like a wallpaper vibe. There's also a cool little reef on there that I will save for another project as well. And on these, you just peel off the back, stick down the sticker and scrape. Now, I probably should have waited a little longer for my paint to dry because I struggled on the first one. But I didn't get it all to transfer, but I kind of liked that even more because it kind of made it look, you know, older. And so that's what we're gonna do. I tried to put it back down to get some more on there. But once it got dry, it was a lot easier. So I'm just gonna kind of work my way around, kind of use the bigger pieces of the boxwood on the bigger sections of the butterfly and keep scraping. Um, I was scraping with one of those little Cricut spatulas from the Dollar Tree. I found that worked pretty well. It had a pretty um, smooth edge that I could scrape over. And once your paint is dry, you can tell if these go on really easy. But definitely dry your paint or stain first. So I'm just gonna keep working until I have most of my little butterfly covered with this pattern. I'm gonna do like a lot of greenery, a lot of flowers today, and definitely all these butterflies. I tried to get like um, a good representation of all of the butterflies that they had at the Dollar Tree available. And so I can do a little something different with each one of them. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, the front of our napkin holder. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the back. I bought a second one of these little wooden butterflies at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar 25 tree, I guess and we're gonna stain it all over with that same blue stain. And since it has that little um, base on there, once I put the two together, it's gonna be a perfect holder um, for napkins. And I'm just gonna wipe off the excess and the back here is gonna be ready to go. Since it's the back, I'm gonna leave that one just plain. And if I put them together like that is what I'm thinking, perfect for a functional piece, yet beautiful for our tear tray. So I'm just gonna do a thin bead of hot glue just on one side. They're pretty lightweight, so it should be pretty easy to keep this together. And just line that up, let my hot glue dry and check it out, we have a little butterfly napkin holder. Now, if you're not using yours on your kitchen table or functional, you could just do the front part and that would be beautiful as well. I don't really have any butterfly springy napkins, which is shocking, but I'm gonna use some of these um, ocean shore living ones that I just got, and that looks really nice. Okay, the next DIY, I'm gonna try one of these galvanized metal butterflies. Um, from Dollar Tree. They're so great because they're already on a base and everything. And I thought I would decorate it with some of these decals from the Dollar Tree. I really like the greenery aspect of it. So I'm just gonna kind of pick a section of that, cut out some of the decal. And then we're just gonna stick and put it down like a sticker. <laughs> Couldn't be any easier. So let's peel that off. These are like the wall stickers, um, kind of something they have all the time. 
and I'm just gonna kind of line that up on the bottom so it kind of goes up the side or the halfway about the butterfly. And then I'm gonna try to cut as close as I can to the edges of the galvanized metal. I couldn't really lay my butterfly down on there and cut it out like to draw it because of the base. Um, so I'm kind of just trying to work around that. I can only get it so close to the edges of the butterfly with the scissors. And so I decided to go in with um, just a razor blade and cut out the excess. And that gave me like right up next to the metal pretty easily. Just be careful. We don't want you cutting yourself. And so I trimmed out the bottom part of the butterfly using that method. Because I still want the butterfly shape. And then I also like um, retrim the sides to make it closer because I don't want any of that decal sticking over the edges of the butterfly. So then for the top part, um, they have a few smaller pieces. So I'm just gonna use those to kind of cover up the top part of the wings. And so this project is complete. How easy is that? I love it. I love the boxwood on there and the galvanized metal contrast. I think this is perfect for my butterfly tear tray. Okay, another find from the craft section. They have these little wood boxes with a butterfly cut out. So I thought I would stain these, but I don't want them to be like that dark stain that antique wax can do. It does kind of like a medium stain. And so I mixed it halfway with water to see if I could make a light stain. And you know what? This worked perfectly. This was exactly the color I was going for. So I just brush it on and then wipe off the excess with a paper towel. Such an easy, quick way to stain wood. And look how pretty that little box turned out. So we're gonna do the same technique on the top part of the box. I also kind of wanted to do the light stain because I wanted to be able to paint the butterfly on the top and I didn't want to have to compete against that dark stain color from the Antique Wax by Waverly. So easy peasy, we got all of that stained and then I'm just gonna go in with a paint pen and kind of that same color that we've been using today. This is a paint pen from Target and the craft department and I'm just gonna go in and very easily paint in the butterfly, just filling in the lines, just like I'm coloring. And the little pattern is already all cut out, so easy peasy, right? I really love how these little butterfly projects turned out today. I hope you were enjoying them as well. And I'm just gonna sit that on there for a fun little item for a tear tray. Okay, another find from the Crafter Square, this little butterfly light. So they kind of have these in several different kinds. But of course I chose the butterfly. So I just popped the candle out of the back and we're gonna try to use that same blue stain that we used on the previous two. Kinda set for a little too long. So I'm trying to revive it. <laughs> and we're gonna go over just with a chunky brush and paint this thing all over. Now the stain for this works better because it's really kinda hard to get an even coat of paint and all the little nooks and crannies when you're working with a 3D piece like this that's already assembled. And this stain is very forgiving. So we're gonna go over every surface, inside, outside, because you're gonna be able to see it, especially if it's all lit up like that. And just trying to make sure I have all the surfaces covered. And then I can wipe off the excess stain, just like that. And I think this looks really cute. I'm gonna do a little bit of antique wax by Waverly to give it that same little distressed look that we did on that big butterfly for the top. And then turn on my candle. And this little butterfly is ready to go. All the projects today were very easy and turned out so pretty. Okay, so up next, I wanted something to put my salt and pepper shaker in because of course this is going on my kitchen table, so I needed something functional yet beautiful. And I thought one of these galvanized metal butterflies from the Dollar Tree would be perfect. So it's a hanging sign, and so all I'm gonna do is cut the rope 
and pull that out and we have a little butterfly tray for the tear tray that I thought would work perfect for the salt and pepper. I could probably even add a few more spices on there because I've got lots of room. They kind of fit in there all over. So it's going to be super functional as well. And there is our little galvanized metal butterfly tray. Okay, the next DIY, I'm going to use one of these butterflies from the Crafter Square. This one is made out of MDF. So I kind of wanted to grab all of their butterflies and kind of show you different things that you could do with them. So this one, I'm going to cover with some of this wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree in this beautiful pattern. It's got lots of greenery and light blues on there. And I thought it would kind of give me a wallpaper effect on this butterfly. I wasn't gonna begin to try to paint on like a butterfly pattern because I don't have that kind of skill. <laughs> now, what I found with this wrapping paper, it's the first time I've used it, is it is thin, like so thin. So I'm drawing out the shape of the butterfly onto it to cut it and just pushing down on the wrapping paper with my pen almost cut all the way through the paper. You could probably cut it like that, to be honest. But I'm gonna go through and cut it out with scissors. And again, you gotta be really careful on this because the slightest movement is gonna tear it. And I'm really trying not to tear the wrapping paper. And then I'm just gonna attach it to our little MDF butterfly with a layer of a Mod Podge. Not too thick, because I don't want it to wrinkle. Again, the paper was really thin. And try to line that up and smooth that out on our little butterfly. And I was able to draw that on there because this butterfly did not have a base. And so it was really easy to lay the butterfly down flat. And then I'm just going to use um, a sanding block to try to get off any of the excess paper from the sides. And clean it up a little bit. It turned out pretty well. I'm gonna go over with one more thin coat of Mod Podge over the top of the paper to seal that on to make sure that it stays attached. And then I want this to stand up on our tear tray. And so I'm gonna have to make a base of some kind. And I thought I would use um, some of these little mini Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna attach them to the bottom of the butterfly with a little bit of hot glue. This didn't make a very stable sign, but I think it's gonna work. Okay, another Crafter Square butterfly. This one is on the stand and it's a little frame. Now, I didn't really have anything to put in the frame and so I thought I could just do a flower. So I'm gonna use some of these little laser cut flowers also from the Crafter Square, and I think one of these little flowers will work perfectly as my design for the middle. I'm gonna use that same stain that we made for the Butterfly Box, which was the Antique Wax by Waverly, mixed with water, and kind of do a medium stain all over this. I can't have all my projects be blue. <laughs> Otherwise, the blue's not gonna pop, so we're gonna definitely make this one look like wood. So just going all over all the surfaces with that, a very quick and easy stain and wiping off the excess with a paper towel. Now the frame didn't come with like a glass or um, a back or anything, just a piece of white paper. And so I didn't want that image to be visible at all. So I'm gonna use a piece of just cardstock that I had and use the little circle as a template. That way I could have like kind of a white front and a white back for um, the frame section. So I cut it out a little too big, so I need to trim it down just a little bit to make sure it fits. I put my cardstock in there and the other piece um, with the photo in between so you can't see it. And then I wanted to um, paint this little lasered flower, that Caribbean blue color. Um, it was kind of hard to paint with the acrylic because it was kind of a dark brown to begin with. And so it did require at least two coats of that blue paint to kind of make that color pop. And I thought that'd be a really cute decoration for the center of our frame. If you had like a little decal or rub on with a saying or something on that, that would be really cute to put there as well. 
but we're just gonna do a very simple flower and I just attach it with a dab of hot glue. And this little butterfly is ready to go. So cute. Okay, so we're gonna need lots of filler. This is one of those little boxwood wreaths from the Target dollar spot. I thought that would be perfect for the top. And then this is another um, wreath I have left over from the dollar spot at Target. So I guess I do have a couple items from the dollar spot. And I'm gonna cut this one and use so I can use that on a lower tray. These are some beautiful flowers from Dollar Tree. And basically I'm just gonna take one sprig of them, use my floral scissors from the Dollar Tree to cut them off. But I kinda wanna keep the greenery, so I'm kinda sliding that up before I cut them. And this matches my blue butterflies perfectly. And I'm just gonna use this for filler on the tear tray. I also thought these little lavenders looked really reminded me of butterflies. So I thought this would make great filler too. I'm gonna use two sprigs of these from the Dollar Tree. And again, I wanna save the greenery, so I'm just gonna slide it up and simply cut these all off. And we're gonna have lots of butterfly flowers um, for filler for our butterfly tear tray. I really hope you're enjoying these DIYs today. If you are, don't forget to hit that like button. When you're done watching, if you can comment below your favorite DIY, I would really appreciate it. I, I would love to hear from you. Also, if you are on Facebook, we have a new Facebook group where you can share what you're working on, I can share what I'm working on, and we can kind of visit over there. And I will post a link to that Facebook group below. We would love to have you. It's called Crafty Beach. And come check me out over on Instagram. I'm kind of getting into the reels. Okay, the final thing is these decals, these little gold wall decals of butterflies from the Dollar Tree. I thought these would be perfect to decorate the outside of my tear tray. So I'm gonna do all three rows of my tear tray and just simply attach those. I like the subtle contrast of the gold butterfly against the galvanized metal tray. And I thought about putting a ribbon down first, which would have definitely added more color, but we're just gonna kind of go with it. We're gonna try to use the smaller ones that are just gonna fit and kind of alternate around on all three tiers of the tear tray. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And we are gonna go ahead and build this tear tray. Hope you are all having a happy spring. Just close your eyes and let them rest. I know it's hard to fall asleep, but do your best. Cause there's a place that I go to when I want to hide from all the shades of Cause at times I think of leaving My mind takes me back to fall When the snow begins to sing at night to warm I'm counting years as they go by Now all the lilies gone and aces brought to life Cause at times I think of leaving My mind takes me back to fall When the snow begins to sink
Just close your eyes and let them rest. I know it's hard to fall asleep, but do your best. 'Cause there's a place that I go to when I wanna hide from all the shades of blue. 'Cause at times I think of leaving. 